Okay. So a Cobalt is trying to kill us and a Bat is trying to kill us. Luckily both were quite unsuccessful. I wonder, do Elves eat flesh? They probably do. And uh, being out in the open like this is probably not a good idea. Let's try to snipe these guys out quickly like that. Yeah, that's good. And let's get all of this stuff. But yeah, this is super fast because we can we don't have to move in closer to the enemies. We can basically just attack them whenever we want, which makes this extremely quick, especially on the couple of the first levels because most of the time I'm just clicking on enemies and and that got rotten. Doesn't matter though. But most of the time I'll be just uh, clicking on enemies and pressing O. And my, no my nose is getting stuffed. Completely. This video won't be something awesome to watch, I bet. Well, it's probably going to only get better. And, uh, okay. So far, so good. Let's try these. So that's a scroll of random uselessness. Nothing happened. Actually, something happened. I think I roared flames. But it didn't do anything good. As far as I know, those random uselessness scrolls don't actually have a use. They are just there to annoy you. Or to entertain you. Oh, damn you, Sigmund. Again with your stupidity. Well, at least we have to... Well... At least we have this teleportation scroll, so if if things get out of hand, we can just teleport out of here. And... Okay. He, he completely vanished. Maybe I should check these scrolls, now that I'm at it. And, uh, on this. It was a scroll of identify. It hits you, but does no damage. Okay, so the, these are heal wounds, so we are we're doing fine. Uh, but Sigmund is cur currently invisible. Well, I bet there's a disturbance. That that thing is the disturbance. Uh, can I can I not move? Uh, I'm going to teleport away. And I'm confused. Doesn't matter. Because I'm out of there. Okay. So, now I can rest. But yeah, especially on this level, uh, Sigmund can be extremely difficult to kill. I luckily encountered Sigmund a lot further down last time. Let's see. Uh, my short plates is up to... Uh, up... Uh, 0.5. And my bow, uh, bows is up 6.4, which is fine. That means that we are actually leveling our stuff just fine. I'm not an expert, I like to repeat that every single time I play this game. Just so that you do not actually... And I should... I, I Because Sigmund is currently somewhere and... It, he is uh, invisible. The game automatically turns off auto pickup, but that that's sort of annoying because now I have to click manually to retrieve my arrows. I I screw that up every single time. I can click here, that works just fine. But if I click here. Yeah, it it's uh, it goes to the menu that asks what stuff I want to pick up, and I always press ESC instead of Enter, and I never pick up anything. Okay, I'm leveled up now, so I have more health. So if I uh, if I encounter Sigmund again, 
I might have better luck killing him. And yes, I'm going to take this, thank you. And definitely going to pick up the uh, heal wounds. And you are going to die. That is the way of life. Okay, there's Sigmund. Okay, I'm going to kill you now. Oh, okay. Thank God, we finally killed him. And Sigmund doesn't have anything uh, important anyway. Just a scythe and a robe. But the fact that we killed him means that we don't we don't have to deal with him anymore. Unless there's a ghost of him somewhere. Okay, I'm going to switch. And okay, so that's another rat. And a goblin. Still relatively easy. Um I'm a, I should pick this up. Why am I not picking this up? Sigmund is dead. There's no reason to not pick this up. I don't get it. Maybe the game hasn't figured it out. Uh, hasn't probably figured it out yet. And it's still just doing explore without actually picking stuff up. Which is a bit annoying. Okay, that's a null. Null's working packs. Which means that I am going to get a bit uh, rushed here. I need a... I hope that's... Uh, yep, that's a... We can get them into this. Uh, okay, no, I'm not going to attack with that. Luckily we have heal wounds, so I'm going to cast that and we're going for melee combat now. And actually, now that we are doing that, I'm going to disable bows for the moment, so that all the experience goes towards... Uh, uh, ...goes towards uh, swords. Luckily we have almost killed this, but uh, we're still poisoned by the adder. And I'm not used to that because I usually play undead. And I don't have to worry about adders. And I'm going to have to use all of my potions just to kill these nulls. Which is sort of annoying, but at least we killed the nulls. Okay, and we're, we're going to have to wait. I'm still poisoned, but uh, the, uh, it should go away soon enough. Okay, we're starting to feel better. And a rat. Okay, I'm out of arrows. Completely. So I'm going to have to use... The regular methods. When are you going to pick this up? I wonder. And yet another null. I really don't want to deal with you. Right now, could we deal? Could I deal with you later? Okay, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to wait here. This is one of the strategies that you should consider when playing this game. Um, okay, this is not good. This is seriously not good. Okay, it it worked out, but it's not. It was not great. Okay, can I actually pick up this? Uh, there, there is a manual override to override the game, not uh, to 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 uh, enable the auto uh, pickup. I think it's Control A. Okay, it's on right now. But I'm going to run. I'm on the run because this is an adder. Maybe I should just... I have a single arrow and we missed. Okay, let's deal with the adder. Let's hope that we don't get poisoned. We did, but it doesn't matter as long as we get away with enough health. 
Okay, we're fine so far. Uh, I'm going to go up, I think. That's a ball python. And going down is not a good idea. Okay. Let's go up and let's wait. Okay. And now let's actually pick up this stuff. An orc. Okay. Luckily, well, we didn't kill him. But, uh, oh, and uh, that orc has a, a halberd. So, he can actually attack us from further away. Okay. Well, at least we're doing a bit better. We're not dead yet. But, um, it doesn't take too much to die. Okay, a worm. Uh, we should be able to deal with the worm. And I'm going to have to switch back to my sword. And I should definitely enable this again. Uh, we've gotten a couple of levels into uh, swords. But I don't want to completely forget about bows either. And talking about bows, I need more arrows. But at least this level seems mostly clear. Hmm. There's an altar here. Let's see. So Fehumet is a god of the destructive powers of magic. Followers gain various useful powers to enhance their command of the hermetic arts. And the most favored stand to gain access to some of the fearsome spells in Vehumet's library. One's devotion to Vehumet can be proven by, cause, uh, by the causing of as much carnage and destruction as possible. If I was a spellcaster, I'd do this. But in this case, I'm not. But I like the idea. How about Sif Muna? Uh, can I pray on it? Sif Muna does not accept, the, uh, accept worship from the ignorant. Okay. How about this then? So this is Nimalex Sobeth. Sobeh. Or something. Nimalex is a strange and unpredictable trickster god. Oh god. This doesn't sound good. Those powers can be invoked through the magical packs of cards paid in the icor of demons. Followers are expected to sedulously sacrifice valuable items, the type of which will influence the gifts. Followers are also advised to trust in the cards and use them as much as possible. However, the trickster can ensure that fortune favors the bold. So more RNG. I'm not going to sacrifice much stuff. I don't have much stuff to begin with. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm going to skip on religion completely. I quite simply don't have... There's a rat here. <laughs> okay, we're done exploring. Awesome. Okay, uh, next level awaits. If we can find where an entrance is, there's one staircase. But yeah, overall, I'm not too interested in uh, joining the religions at the moment, unless I find a god that absolutely suits me. By the way, we have this ring that we can... Okay, I'm... We are not sure what that does, but hopefully it's not something awful. An orc. Orc and apple and scrolls and stuff. That's pretty much what this game is all about. And we got a wand, a silver wand of something. Let's actually identify it because it might be useful. It's a wand of hasting. So we can zap it to make things go faster. I don't think it's good uh, as an offensive thing. We don't have anyone to use it on. 
because we don't want we definitely don't want to make the enemies faster uh, I can probably set it on myself and make myself faster so that's that's an option <laughs> 